Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube, coming to you with another live at five, which I've been doing on Friday nights. The date today is April 10th, 2020. I normally do my live at five on Fridays with a thrift haul. But right now, since we are all staying at home, safe at home, we can't go out sourcing. So I don't have a regular thrift haul from the thrift stores, but I do have some items that I can share with you from some of the other ways I've been getting inventory. In our reseller community, a lot of us are talking about other ways to get inventory. In fact, I just put out a video about it today. I see some of my friends coming in. I'm so glad you're here. I'm definitely going to say hi in the chat very soon. So let me know what you're up to, what you've been working on today, what's happening in your business. Are you really driving business right now with all this time staying at home or are you just kicking back? I'd love to hear how you're all doing. Um, so we'll have a live show tonight. The chat is up. I'll be definitely chatting with people. And then if you're watching this on the replay, the chat will stay up so you can see what we're talking about. It usually gets pretty fun in there. If you happen to be new to my channel and you're just tuning in, hi, welcome, I'm Quenby. I am a part-time reseller. I sell mostly gently used clothing online. I sell on two platforms. I'm on Poshmark and eBay, and I've been doing it for over eight years. And this channel is all about reselling. So you'll see on my channel that I really like to mix it up. I have your typical thrift haul videos and yard sale videos, but I also do a lot of other things. I like to mix it up and experiment in my business. So I do a lot of retail arbitrage. I do some online sourcing, lots of mystery box. I love a good mystery box. So there's lots of that for you on the channel. I hope you'll consider subscribing. So let me say hi to a few people that I see who came in the chat. Gosh, you guys, I'm so happy to see you. I see Kelly Schaffner. Hey, girl, she's been putting out some great content. And Alicia from Murrayed Life and Lori Owens is here. All my friends, Hanger Deals, I'm so happy to see you. And Tori from Girly Girl Style is here. I just checked in with Tori today, and I'm like, where have you been? I miss seeing you. I see someone new, Patricia Perillo. Oh, Trish fan. Oh, cool. We were on a show together last night. Was that just last night, Trish? Does that seem like a week ago? <laughs> Are any of you guys having this experience right now with Stay at Home where time is very surreal? Like, you know, the days for me personally are going so fast. And it's like, was that just last night that I was on Sarah Styles live show with Trish? Um, it feels like it was forever ago. Barbara Babash is here. Howdy, good to see you. I just saw you today, I think, and chatted with you a little bit in Denali's chat. Um, El Ducho went live, so I got to talk with some friends over there. And yay, also Victoria is here and gifted afflicted. Yay, I finally caught you live. I know you guys, right now, personally, the lives are so important to me that I actually write them down. So when somebody on Instagram or on YouTube says, hey, I'm doing a live, and there's lots more of them now, I've been writing them down, and then I actually like, I have for like Tori and Bill's live, um, they do their Sunday live. Are you guys doing it this week, or are you taking a break? At 405 over at Girly Girl Style, um, I have a I have an alarm set on my phone, a weekly alarm, so, so I don't miss anything because I hate missing it. It's really great to be able to chat with you guys. Um, okay, let's see what everyone has to say. What are you guys doing today? Any reselling work or is it other stuff? I see Brandy's here. Hey, Brandy. And anything else that you're doing? Alicia says, I've been working on listing all day. Um, and Hanger Deal says, I took a break today after cross-listing for the past two days, but it was worth it. What are you using to cross-list Hanger Deals, and how is it going for you? Because I just started cross-listing, cross-posting, and it is like total game changer for me. I can't believe I waited this long to do it. Will someone let me know if like the sound and the picture is okay? It looks a little dark to me, but I do have my lights on. Sometimes it changes, but... Um, Oh, girly girl style made masks today. That is so awesome. I love seeing people do that. I'm in Northern California. Let me know in the chat where you guys are from, even if you've told me before. We got, um, so I get constant alerts. And one of the more recent ones was the expectation is everybody that goes out has some kind of face covering, even if it's just a scarf or something like that. 
So that's so great that you guys are doing it. Yay, a wee bit worn is here. Yay, I finally made one. Great to see you. You've been doing some lives with um, Tori and Bill. So it's been fantastic to see you. How are things going there? You guys are in the South. Um, everything looks and good looks good and sounds good. So and Mary Hendricks is here. Hey friends, hello. And Kelly says, Kelly Schaffner, who has a great YouTube channel. If you haven't, go check her out. Um, listing challenge with a PFF. She crushed me trying to list 20 a day. Alicia, I think you said 20 a day. Is anyone else doing anything like that? Um and Amy made it from Rainy Day Shopper. I actually messaged her on Instagram because Amy tends, I think she wouldn't mind if I say this, she tends to be to message me on Instagram and be like, I missed it again. So I sent her a reminder. I'm like, are you going to miss it again or are you going to show up? And my mom's here, Grateful Babette, Barbara Kemmler. I'm here, my Friday night entertainment. So great, Grateful Babette. I know. And Bill's here. Hey, Bill, how's it going for you over there? Are you helping with the mask? What are you guys up to? And Sarah Lee Coleman. Hi, a new friend. Sarah Lee, are you a, a reseller or just someone who loves live shows? Let us know what your username is or your closet name is. So here's my plan for tonight. My plan is usually, number one, just chat. See what questions you might have. What's going on with you? What themes are happening in our community? And I have some stuff to share. I have been doing alternative kind of online sourcing in so many different ways. Um, so I have some stuff from ThreadUp that I have not even opened. I've been saving it for this video. I have some stuff from shopgoodwill.com. And I have some stuff from like a neighbor that I'm so curious to look at. I've been doing a lot of getting stuff online and um, doing some like neighbor meetups. And because I want to do it in the safest way possible, I could tell you my whole routine, but it's very safe. And I leave the stuff in a bin in my garage for at least 24 hours. But this stuff has been sitting in there almost a week. So I think I'm good. Barbara Babash says, another Barbara in the chat. My mom, Barbara Kemmler, Grateful Babette, is in the chat too. Um, it sounds very Russian. Are you Russian, Barbara? 15 to 20 a day from her death pile. Amy says, Ashlyn is the best. Best Shakespeare in the country. How's the weather there, low? like the rest of the year? Bill says he's helping with the masks, all right. Um, poked my fingers a couple dozen times already. That's what I'd be doing. Remember when people used to wear thimbles? Do people still do that? Um, Alicia from Married Life says, yes, love thread up videos. Excited to see what you got from Goodwill online too. And Osa Victoria says, so great. Put the play, but but the plays are closed. Sad. Okay. So, um, yes, I just put out a video today. I'm hoping it might help some people because I know everyone's like, how, how are you getting inventory? I have so much inventory right now, um, and I've been getting it from different ways. So I'll show you some of the stuff I got from ThreadUp. Have any of you guys been doing ThreadUp? Or what else have you been doing? What can you tell us about what you're doing? Barbara's Hungarian. Very cool. Um, so I've been doing ThreadUp in two ways to get inventory right now. The first thing I did was went on ThreadUp and got a rescue box. Um, the rescue boxes are either items they didn't take because they don't sell that stuff or they were damaged or it's not a brand they take or whatever, or stuff that sat on the, the site too long and didn't sell. It's kind of like they're rejects. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, and I got two of those boxes. I ordered them over two weeks ago. I mean, it took two weeks for them to ship. And I just got a notification that they shipped. One came today. I am so excited. I think it might be the men's thread up um, rescue 25 pounds box. Have any of you guys have experience with the men's box from them? Patricia says I ordered one through thread up with credit. I need to learn more about that. How do I get the credit? And um, Alicia says she got that one of the designer boxes today. I've ordered those designer boxes in the past. I'd love to talk about, have you done that before you guys and what's your experience? Mine's kind of mixed. So I'd love to talk because the designer box, is it still $90 on ThreadUp for five items? I've gotten the designer handbag one. And then there's also another one that's just designer. So I can share what I've gotten, what my experience is with that. Those sell out really fast. 
Um, Bill says, yep, I got good stuff in those boxes. Okay. Oh, the Antique Boutique is here. Hey, I got a designer DIY coming Monday and I've been online sourcing on eBay. So that's really good to hear because I am doing a lot of online sourcing. My go-tos are ThreadUp and ShopGoodwill.com right now. And I'm doing a lot through the Good Neighbor app. Or is it the Neighborhood app? I forget what it's called. I keep messing that up. Next door. So I want to share with you guys my experience with that just in case anyone's interested. Um, I have so much to say about it. Next door app. Um, where I put out a post requesting either donations or can I buy the stuff you're cleaning out of your closet? So I have a lot to say about that. Um, Alicia says they sold out in 10 minutes the DIY. So who? So um, a bunch of you got those. Hmm, might be a really good time for those. I've been sticking with shopping on ThreadUp for more bread and butter stuff. And I'll talk more about that. So let me show you some of the stuff I got. I love when this package comes. So in my experience, I ordered over two weeks ago, the thread up mystery boxes, the rescue boxes, they just shipped and they're just starting to arrive. But this stuff that I ordered from thread up site, just like a regular shopper on there buying individual items came really fast. It shipped fast. It came fast. And I'm so happy with the stuff I've gotten. The antique boutique says I've been selling on next door. What are you selling antique stuff or what's working for you there? Who says hi, Denali? I didn't see her come in yet. Let me let me check my chat. I'm like such a I have such a girl fan moment with Denali from El Ducho. It was so great to see you live today. I'm so glad I caught it. Was that planned? Oh, I did that thing where I'm scrolling and I put the comment up. Everyone says hi to Denali. We love you. How's the bra selling going? You know what I think is really unintentional but funny right now, Denali is. Because you educated us all on buying lots of bras and that they sell well and you created a Shopify store. Now, a few of us have said whenever we're listing a bra or thinking about selling one, you pop into our minds, which I think is really funny. Oh, good. Leslie's here from a reseller's passion. Leslie is doing more YouTube, which I'm really excited about. She had a great live show last night with the boys. Are, uh, when's your, um, are you doing a regular now, Leslie, a regular live show? I want to make sure I have it on my notes so I can tune in. Barbara Babash says, I've been trying Facebook Poshmark Home Edition. Poshmark Home Edition. You mean like shopping in the home market? Um, everyone says, hi to Denali. I'm riding my bike, says Denali. Brandy Rivera says, I'm back to buying pounds of jewelry on eBay. What's your experience with that, Brandy? I've done that. And it's been like one of the things that's in my death money pile, which is jewelry, because if the jewelry is pretty good and it has a maker's mark, like it's from Chico's or Loft or somewhere recognizable, I get it listed. But if it doesn't, it's been a little more challenging, though. I have had some success with like boho jewelry on Posh. That's one of the things I'm working on in this time. The Antique Boutique says, I just got a photo booth, put it together Having a great tan, but haven't listed time, I bet you mean. <laughs> a great tan, but haven't listed much yet. Working on it. And Leslie says her live show is every Thursday at 8. I love when it's consistent. So I'm doing every Friday live at 5, or as Torval would say, live at 5, mama. He'll show up at 5.20 to say hi. That's his thing now. Um, but I like when it's consistent like that. So I will show up Thursday at 8. PM and that's East Coast time though. That's the thing that's confusing everybody. I'm West Coast time, five o'clock, eight on the East Coast. Um, Leslie says I also buy individual items on Thread Up. That way it's not many surprises. Exactly, exactly. So I like to kind of spread things out. So I got two mystery boxes, rescue boxes, the men's 25 pound and a woman's 25 item. In the past, I've gotten the women's and it hasn't been great, but at this time, one of the ways I'm pivoting in my business is I'm selling kind of anything and everything. Are you guys doing that? What kind of things are you doing different in your business right now because of what's happening? Oh, oh, so Victoria said, what is Denali's Spotify shop name? I think Denali, it's, it's El Ducho, right? But, but let us know. Lori Owen says, I'm beef, beefing up my listings on Mercari. Been doing well on there lately. Okay. I've never been on Mercari. I've never even gone on there to look at it. But I did get the Vendu cross-listing 
service now. And one of the things is I could cross post right to Macari. So that's something I should look into. That's awesome that you're doing that, Lori. Um, Amy from Rainy Day Shopper says, I'm taking all the lowball offers. I'm taking lower offers too. My sales are up. I just did a what sold video and this is going to sound crazy to some of you, but just comparing um, this week's numbers to last week's, my eBay sales were up 60%. And what I'm attributing that to is I'm on there more. I have more time to put into it. I'm listing more. I'm accepting more offers. I am sending out offers every day. Like every day I go on eBay and um, go into my active listings and go under any listing that has a watcher, which is eligible for eligible for me to send an offer to, and I'm doing it every day now. So I'm much more active and my sales have been really good. Um, Alicia says, I just started selling on Mercari and I like it. Maybe you can make a video about that. Um, Gifted Afflicted, I'm learning how to upcycle vintage clothing and I have, oh, I hate that when I'm reading something and then the chat moves, it's like, where to go? I have that slightly damaged. Ooh, what are you doing to things? I don't know much about that at all, but that sounds really good. Girly Girl says, I've only had two sales this week. What are you What are you attributing that to, um, Tori? Hanger Deal says, I always sell any brand of women's clothing. Any brand? You guys see the video I put out last week or this week? I don't even know what day it is anymore about selling Target. I mean, I just wanted to put that out there for some reason because I sell Target stuff. I buy it if I like it. I'm okay with selling things for 15, 20, 25 bucks. So it works for me. I'm selling any brand now. And let me tell you why. Oh, I could go off on so many ways. I haven't even shown you guys this. Keep me, keep me on track. Not listing. Tori says, so she says, I only had two sales and I asked her why. She's like, not listing. Exactly. So my guess is if you and Bill were like, oh, I'm just going to hit it hard and try and do 20 listings a day, like a lot of the people in the chat those sales would come right back up. A wee bit one says, I haven't shared in four days. Ugh, work is busy, but I'm just blah. You know what? That's okay. That sounds appropriate to me right now that we're going to have days where it's like, I'm blah. Um, little tip there. I mean, do you like sharing? Because I, um, I realized I am not, I can't share my own Poshmark closet. I have hundreds of items on there. And when I do it, I get super frustrated with the posh, with the posh platform and think, why do I need to list? I mean, share every single item. You know, there, there's more important things I could be doing with my time. I just, I get so frustrated doing it. So I realized Quemby, if you want to sell on posh, which I do because I appreciate the platform in so many ways, you've got to figure out the sharing thing. Cause this is not working. So I hired it out to a virtual assistant who shares my closet I go on there and I share my friends' closets. If people are in the chat, like on this video, and they put their closet name, I go on there and share. If I see someone's closet that I admire and I'm like, wow, she is he or she is just nailing it, I'll go on and share. And that's enjoyable for me. But twice a day sharing every, um, every item in, in my closet is just not doable. So I chose in a very inexpensive way to hire that out. Sorry if that's a controversial thing. It works for me. It's what I need to do. You decide what's right for you. Amy from Rainy Day Shopper says, I have 1,700 active listings on Posh. I guess I have 1,000 on eBay almost and a couple few hundred on Posh. Now I'm trying to get to cross-list everything. But um, that's a lot to share. Those of you who share it on your own just sitting there, how do you do it? Um, get a sharing bot. Antique Boutique, what is a sharing bot? Is that different than hiring a virtual assistant? Ooh, we have a visitor. Anyone have any questions for my adorable eight-year-old? Did you bring chicken or potato? Will you show everybody how you lost your tooth? Where you lost your tooth? Can you see? Get right. There's the camera. This is Torvald, for those of you who might not know. My eight-year-old son who's now at home doing homeschooling, and he lost a tooth. He lost a tooth. I don't know. I'm just making a noise. Don't 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 um do that because I don't know what that does. <laughs> it does um it can. Yeah. What's the plan, married life? That's the plan, married life. That's the plan. I need to get more on eBay. 
Those of you who don't sell on eBay, I'm always like, how do you do it? Because Poshmark, okay, to give you a sense, my sales last week, I'm looking down at my notes from my What's Sold video. Um, my sales on eBay were $533.74, and my sales on Posh were $279. So it's like double sales on eBay all the time for me. I just don't make as many sales on Posh. If I didn't have eBay, Mary Hendrick says he's adorable. Does he look like me, Mary? Wait, I was going to touch you, but I'm like, <laughs> does he look like me? Oh, my little boy. He's home all the time now. Do you like being home and doing homeschool? Or would you rather be at school? Definitely. It's definitely good. Who are your favorite YouTube channels, Torvald? I use Closet Mate. Okay. I got to look into that. Uh, Antique Boutique, are we friends on um, Instagram? Could you message me that okay. if you get a chance? Currently, I have 27 people watching. Okay. 27 people watching. But how many thumbs up do I have? I can't oh. see that. You can't That's see. Hit the yeah. thumbs up. Subscribe. You can also tell them something. Hanger Deal says 95% of my sales are from Posh. eBay isn't the best for me. I don't understand why that all is. Hey, Torvald says Alicia from Married Life. She lives in the South and has a really cute Southern accent. You look like a hockey player. What's a hockey player look like, Bill? See, I grew up I grew up in Boston. So hockey, like ice hockey, was huge. Like we had teams and games. I never hear about that here in California. I need to cross this more on eBay. You know, I, I, I'm a little embarrassed that I waited so long to get the cross listing service and do it because now that I'm doing it, um, that's kind of annoying. It's kind of like shoving into me now that I'm doing it. It's so easy. It's so unbelievable. I'm like, I can't believe I waited so long. It was just one of those things that was on my list that never made the triage. Like it was never the most important thing to do that day. So I didn't. Um, but, um, I'm so glad I'm doing it now. Although I did have the experience that most people are afraid of, which is I sold, uh, tell me what the chances of this are. I've only been cross posting for a week or two max. And I saw, I had the experience where I sold the same men's t-shirt, Marine layer. It was in my video with you, Alicia, my men's haul. I sold the same item. Denali, this was my fear. What's that one, Torval? Why is blue? I, I sold the same item on eBay and Poshmark the same night. So I wake up, I look at my sales, I'm like, great sales. Oh my God, the same item sold. Have you guys had that? I was like, that could never happen out of all the shoppers. It did happen to me in my first couple weeks of cross posting. Have you guys had that? Have you ever had the same item sell? Ooh, I got a super chat from El Ducho. I love you. Love the Friday night show, Quenby. I love the Friday night show. Yes, you can say something. Okay. Thank you. If you are interested in getting a new watch, there's going to be one selling. Are we going to sell the watch on eBay? Quenby? I don't know. We haven't really talked about We're it. We're going to sell the watch on Amazon. Yeah, I don't sell on Amazon, honey. What do you sell on? I sell on Poshmark and eBay. We can okay. sell it on eBay. There's going to be a watch that is selling on eBay. It's a very nice. High quality watch. Okay. So if you're interested, in, it's not digital. It's not it's digital. Fun. It's like an old kick, school. Kick, 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 kick. You can get it. Okay. All right, hon. Let me let me focus on the chat. It's very fancy and amazing. All right, we will show Torvald's fancy and amazing watch. And somebody joined Natasha. Natasha, great to see you. What is the one ninety nine from El Ducho? I believe that is what is called a super chat that I am learning about. Thank you, Denali. Okay, let me see what I missed. The Antique Boutique says 70 posh, 30 eBay. What exactly do you sell, though? Hanger Deals, in two days, I cross-listed 200 items to eBay and 100 to Mercari. Are you noticing a lot of sales, Hanger Deals? Because um, that's like when I cross to post from eBay to posh, that's the way I'm doing it. It's new listings. It's posh is seeing me put new listings up, so I've had more sales. Um, just a gift of appreciation to Quemby for her content. You can send a super chat via YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you more than you even know. I could have like a total fan moment and gush, but then I'd embarrass both of us. <laughs> but Denali is one of my absolute friends and mentors in the community. She means a great deal to me. 
Um, List Perfectly is so expensive compared to Bandu. I cannot, I didn't look at List Perfectly because I was talking to Denali and she said she preferred that and it was so much easier. I paid, I paid $29 a month on Bandu for 125 cross posts. And I probably need to get more than that. What, oh, so Victoria says, what a great natural seller. Did you see that? Like you can't, you can't, um, you can't teach someone that, can you? It's like, that is in his blood. My mom always had an antique booth when I was growing up. And my dad is like an antique rug, tribal rug expert seller at auctions and things. So it's, it's something that's been in my family for a long time. Okay, wait, girly girl style said something. I, I think it was important. Um, Tori says bots are against posh policy and I'm the nerd who follows all the rules. I know. Like I was so rebellious when I was younger and now I love rules. VAs can be great though. I do not know. I'd have to look into that. That sounds right, but I haven't done the research. Um, I know that, I know that VAs are okay cause that's a human being, but I haven't done the research on that. The antique boutique, Texas here, originally from Staten Island, New York. I'm originally from Boston. I've shown none of my stuff. If somebody is like dying to see the stuff, will you please let me know? Because I really just want to chat with everybody. <laughs> Hi, Natasha. Okay, I looked at that. I look like that. Haven't had that happen yet. Haven't had that happen yet either. You guys, honestly, what are the chances that I get on there and my big fear of like, well, what, what do you do if you have an item listed on both pl platforms and it sells? And everyone's like, that won't happen. Don't worry. And then it happened. The only way I knew to handle it was I canceled one of the orders because um, what am I supposed to do? It was the same t-shirt, marine layer men's. It was so cute. It had a great graphic. I sold for like $25, I want to say, for a men's t-shirt. So keep your eye out for marine layer. That brand's pretty good. Um, I canceled it on Posh because Posh has um, – Debbie Whitehead's here. Hey, Posh has um, – they don't penalize you in the same way Evie has done historically for ending a listing. Hi, Alicia, says Debbie Whitehead. Lisette made it. Oh, my gosh, Lisette. New England Betty Boop. Hey, Tori and Leslie. Hey, Lisette. Lisette has been coming out lately. I saw her on um, a reseller's passion channel, and you guys did that great, um, I don't even know what to call it, photo collage on Instagram. I really loved that. I did a video that I put out today on how to get inventory during stay at home. And I highlighted, I don't know if you saw that, Lisette, New England Betty Boop. Um, I put your link in there. I hope that's okay to let people know if you're still doing the reseller boxes. No, I didn't see a super chat. I, I'm sorry. I'm chatting and I don't even know how to see it. I did. Oh, Lisette, thank you for the $5 super sticker. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Um, I need to learn about how that works. And thank you, Denali, because the ch if you've ever done a live show, um, the chat moves so quick. And so um, if you talk for a minute and look away, it's gone. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, super sticker. That's awesome. Lori Owen says, anyone use Kitizen for kids stuff? Is it worth it? I listed a few things people have added to their cart, but I haven't sold a thing. Um... Alicia, are you still here for Married Life? She might do Kittison. She sells a lot of maternity and kids clothes. Antique Boutique says, I couldn't get Liz perfectly to work for me too well. I haven't tried it, so I can't vouch, but Vendu, awesome. And I use Denali's. Um, Denali has a video about Vendu, and she has a link in there. So I use that link. And... Um, then they gave me like 20% off my first month. I actually had to e them, email them about it, Denali, and say, hey, um, is there a coupon code? I used Denali's thing. And they they said, oh, there should be, but there wasn't. So they just credited it. And I had questions. And on Instagram, Ben and Bendu communicated back with me like right away for my questions. So I'm all about them. Girly Girl Style says, hey, Lizette. Let me keep on moving down. Sarah Coleman. Amazing content fun and helpful videos. Oh, Lisette says I'm late. I'm out delivering. So you're doing that. Is it DoorDash? I haven't ordered any food. I've just been home cooking. At Lori, I want to know two people have told me to try that platform. I must have missed that. Put it in again. 
A reseller's passion says don't do bots. It's not worth taking chances. So somebody can maybe clarify that for us. Hi, Debbie Whitehead. Hi. Okay. Let me get down to where we're at now. Oh, good. Amy, I have used both. I like both for different reasons, but Vendu has better options for cheaper overall, but they both work. Great. So either of them are going to work for you. Yes. Uh, but Denali about that code thing. Um, they were awesome about it. They're like, they went in manually and just took it off. You get like two, if you use Denali's code, um, link for Vendu, um, you get like 20% off your first month. So that's awesome. Is there a free site says Debbie to make posh signs and banners or suggestions? I'm not sure what you mean by that. So can you clarify that for me? Um, hanger deals. Look at, I'm putting it on the screen. I'm getting tech savvy. The guys at Bendu are very helpful and very nice. I was lucky enough to meet them at a posh and sip when they were still in beta mood. Beta mode. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. It's free and I love it. What's that? I miss that, Tori. What's free and you love it? Okay, let me show you a couple things I bought lately. I have been buying a lot, but I've been listing a lot. I am just like listing, listing. So this is from ThreadUp. This is not from the mystery box. This is stuff I hand selected. Um, I ordered 16 items of my bread and butter stuff that I know just sells. The total was $111. It worked out to be around $6 an item. To be honest, um, some of the items were like $3 and some of them I paid up for because they were a larger size or like new condition. But if you want to average out the stuff I got, I think it was like six bucks an item. And I just got stuff that I knew sells for me. Everybody can do thread up differently. This is what works for me. I went from one of my best selling categories on eBay, which is linen lag and look type stuff in the spring and summer. So I got, I went and looked for all my favorite brands. Like these are J Jill. That's an older J Jill tag though. So I'm not super psyched about that, but these are J Jill size XL. I know I paid a little more for these cause they're XL and they are just a wide leg, 100% linen pants. And they are like a butter yellow color. I think I paid like $10 for these cause I know I can get like 35, no problem. Hey, Allison Cooper. Um, but here's one of, I'm very happy with ThreadUp and I do recommend it. One of the things I don't love about ThreadUp is they don't give you a lot of information. They don't do a lot of pictures for you to make your, your decision to buy on and they don't show you the tag. So I, I know that this is an older tag. See how it's like cursive. The new one's all blocky. If I saw this tag, would I have still bought these for whatever I paid for them? Probably because they're an XL and they're linen. J. Jill runs huge, runs big. Sorry. These will probably sell for 35. No problem. So I'll turn my whatever I paid six to, to 35. That's a good flip for me. I'm fine with that. Hi, Jamie. I love how you guys all say hi to each other and such a supportive, sweet community. And I appreciate you guys because I put on a little makeup and got dressed at least on the top for this video. I've been living in yoga leggings, but because I knew if I'm seeing clients, I will do the like, somebody called it a mullet, I think. Hey, Shop Box Burrows here. Brittany, I'm so glad you're joining us. Check out her channel. She's great. She does a lot of vintage and she's fun. I need to do more lives with people. Hit me up if you want to do a live, another live or another show. I think I need the, I think I need like, um, the connection that these lives give me and the collaborations because I'm such an introvert. I can totally like burrow in by myself, but it's not the best thing for me. Um, these are another pair of J Jill XL hundred percent linen. I'm so glad I got these XLs. These are kind of like a beige wide leg. One of the things I love about shopping on thread up this way, you guys is I got to like pick exactly what I wanted, the brand, the size, the style. It's like, that's fantastic. 
these will probably sell for like 35. Another tip on um, sourcing from ThreadUp. I have a whole video about this. So if you think you might want to source from ThreadUp, um, you might check out that video because I show you exactly what I do. One of my tips is for me personally, I only bought things that said excellent like new condition. Their exact wording is excellent. You might mistake this for new because they say vague things on the other items like um, minor wear, minor pilling, minor stain, but they won't show you a picture or anything. So I avoided all that. I only got things that said looks like it new. It's new. All right. I'm going to try and scroll up because I know I'm missing a lot of the chat. And that's my the main reason I'm here. Allison Cooper, I use the app Typorama to make sales squares to put on Poshmark if that's what the person was asking. Oh, thank you. Here, I'll put that up there. Thanks, Allison. Look at that cute picture of you. Um, okay, I don't know anything about that, so that's awesome. Thank you for answering that. Jamie made it. Yay. Okay, you guys were talking about Canva. Leslie from A Reseller's Passion says Canva is a good site to make signs and banners. Awesome. I want to do that. I did um, put it on my phone. Do you guys do it on your computer or your phone? But I haven't looked at it too much yet. I don't like my thumbnails. If anyone loves their thumbnails for their YouTube videos, let me know because I keep messing with them and I'd like to just choose something I like and then be consistent and recognizable, almost like a little branding, but I don't like any of what I'm doing. I wonder if I could hire someone for that. I'd also like to hire someone to make me like a cute little intro like Tori does on all her videos and stuff. Okay. Antique Boutique, I'm selling inventory boxes on Poshmark. Oh, good. Let me put this one up so we can see your Poshmark. I'm selling, that picture is awesome. I'm selling inventory boxes on Poshmark, very reasonably priced. Okay, what kind of inventory? Is it clothes or other stuff? And though, so find him on Poshmark at the Antique Boutique. Awesome. Okay, everyone's saying hi, hi, hi. Hey, all, says Jamie W. Needed to make this to help me with some motivation. Okay, she needs some motivation. What motivation do we have for her? What do you need specifically for motivation? Denali had a great video, a live video about that today. And um, one of the things that she shared that was so helpful for all of us was to almost, this is from Denali, put things um in little bite-sized pieces, like maybe list two things today, you know? Um, and that was really helpful for a lot of us. Like, it's really hard to be like, I'm going to list 20 things today, she said. But to be like, hey, can I do two? Yeah, maybe. So that's a great video you should check out. If you click the comments, says Denali, like that, they appear on the screen. Thank you. Um. I'm not motivated. I'm retired, says the Antique Boutique. Jamie said, today my family cleaned the yard, so I had to get dressed. Uh. Oh, that's right, Natasha. I don't know why I keep missing this. You and I are both in Santa Rosa. Have you ever gone to the Goodwill on 4th? Do you like it? Yes. Um, is my mom still in the chat? That's her favorite store, the Goodwill on 4th. Um, it's just expensive. They mark a lot of stuff up and they no longer do any sales whatsoever. So as a reseller, it's just not, um, I can't keep my cost of goods low enough. So I live in Northern California. Um, the prices at my Goodwill are set prices for things like a dress is now $10. Jeans are $10. A short sleeve top is $6.99. Sweaters, I think are $8.99. About a year or so ago, they used to do sales and they would do like a 99 cent Sunday. Do you guys have anything like that at your thrift stores? Like a day that's really great for you like that, like dollar day or 50% off day. They don't do any of that at Goodwill anymore. So since they stopped doing those things, I don't shop there anymore. Um, Brittany from Shop Foxborough says, man, guys, I haven't been actually getting dressed in like a week. I only do it just to be honest, like. I put on lipstick and makeup if I'm doing a YouTube video because that helps me personally or if I have clients. But otherwise, no, I am like taking walks and bike rides with my son. I'm in yoga leggings all the time. 
Uh, Brandy Riviera says, and it went away. So I will try and get back to that comment. Lorion says, Quimby, do you have a referral link or code for ThreadUp? I do, Lori. How nice of you to ask. I just figured this out. So in my videos that feature ThreadUp, I have a $10 off. So if you're someone who um, has not shopped on ThreadUp and you want to give it a whirl, $10 off is great. So I have that link. I think a lot of us have that link. Leslie from A Reseller's Passion says, I use Canva on phones and computer and Canva for thumbnails. Okay, I'm going to look into that because I don't like mine. Amy says, you can hire on Fiverr. I, I want to do that. I'm just, I'm going to do that. Everyone says, I want to do that too. And it, I looked on Fiverr for branding stuff. Like they can make you a logo or stuff like that. It's not expensive. Rainy Day Shopper, my YouTube sucks. He, he, he. What do you mean? <sighs> Rainy Day Shopper, definitely check out her channel. She's so fun to watch. And she's been doing a lot of TikToks. I have not got into TikToks yet, but hers are doing really well. And they're funny. Have you guys seen that one going around on Instagram where it's like, you hand me a box and then I'm not dressed well. And then I get the box and I dress up cute and then I hand it to another reseller. I don't even get how that works, but that's been fun. What else? Everybody's loving. Patricia says, I love Canva too. Trish Van 99. Oh, Tori says, I do that, Quimby. I sell my services for design and video production. That is really good to know because you have really cute Tori, on your channel, you have really cute intros and stuff like that. And I love your thumbnails. So that is good to know. Hey, Jacob Fufu made it. <laughs> Look at his picture, you guys. Come on. He's so fun and great in all the chats. Antique Boutique sells ladies clothing and shoes. Brittany says, I start with a blank canvas on Canva because a lot of people use the templates. I see. So then you'd like see the same templates. Okay, everyone's saying hi to everybody. I'm like really behind. My photos and such, I wanna make an intro too. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, Rainy Day Shopper. I could do more there. Antique Boutique says Value Village here is 50% off the entire store one day a month. I've never even been to a, val a Value Village and I see hauls from people on YouTube from places like Value Village and I'm really jealous, I'm like, I want a value village. Um, Amy does make great videos. Check her out at a rainy day shopper. I'll put her up there so that you can find her really easily. Natasha, who also lives where I do, says, thank you for answering. Cost of goods is a hot topic. It's either one sale for $100 or 10 items for $10 each. Okay. Brandy said, I have... I had asked how far you are from San Francisco. I found a spot to shop. Ooh, I'm an hour. I'm at, at least, I'm an hour to the Golden Gate Bridge. And then depending on how far you get in. So I would do it for like an experience, but I wouldn't, I probably won't be shopping there regularly. Maybe we'll meet up, like do a meetup. Okay. Shop Foxborough says, you're going to hate me. I live five minutes from a Goodwill Benz. That's Shop Foxborough. If you click on that, it'll go to her channel, and she's got some great content. Let's do a video together. Let's do another live. Um, I need to confess that I also live not five minutes from a Goodwill Benz, but 15 minutes. Like, it's not hard for me to get there at all. I just tend not to go because I just don't like it. The antique boutique says the bins here are 219 per pound or 179 per pound more than 50. Um, my bins last time I was there was probably like six months ago and it's $1.79 a pound and they don't do that. That's more expensive, 219 a pound. I've, I've heard of people that have like 99 cent bins. <gasps> oh, Lori Tata made it. Hey, Lori. Lori did her first live couple nights ago with posh boss Blake and I really enjoyed it and Lori I'm gonna hit you up because I think we should do a live together I really do it would be so fun and then we could chat because we have such a nice connection but it's all like not not live 
check out her channel. She is doing some cool stuff like cleaning out her closet for everybody to see. That's brave, I think. I just did my closet, but you did a serious Marie Kondo business. Okay, this is still from that thread up order. Oh, I love these ones. Oh, I really love these ones. So Chico size zero. This is the newest Chico's tag. They do vanity, so zero is a small. But this is a really popular um, linen pant, like the blue that almost looks like chambray denim with a stripe. These are really popular. And you know what? I want these. These are so cute. Super wide leg, really classic blue with a white pinstripe. And these look like new. So again, to reiterate my tip, you guys, if you're shopping on ThreadUp, um, in my opinion, I would get things that say excellent, like new condition, because everything I've pulled out of here looks new. And that's what I want. I've gotten so many mystery boxes where stuff in there is like, eh. um, these look brand new. Like these don't even look like they've been through the wash. Do you love these? I absolutely love them. They even have pockets on the back instead of just flat. Loving those super good purchase. I'm really happy with my thread up stuff. I have another thread up bag in here. But this, oh shoot, address situation. This is um, from shopgoodwill.com. Do you guys have experience? You're welcome, Lori. Um, do you have experience shopping at Goodwill Online at shopgoodwill.com? Do you even know what it is? We don't have a value village, says Debbie. What do you have near you? Natasha, how does everyone feel about the changes in reselling after? Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to say that on there, Tasha. I don't know on YouTube if we should say, let's just say the situation or the virus. Do you guys know? Um, do I have a moderator? Um, one of my moderators might know. Shop Foxborough says, rainy day. I went a couple of times a week for a while. I found amazing things, but ended up burying myself in things at the bins. That's one issue. It's like shopping at Costco. If you go to the bins, it's like shopping at Costco. Like, watch out. Don't buy so much stuff just because it's super cheap. Um, Jamie says, I just watched your two closet clean out videos, Lori. Good videos. They were so good. I was like hanging. I was like, oh my gosh, because, um, just the sheer mass of stuff that all of us have, if we actually took everything out and put it on the bed, like you did, it was like, oh my gosh, it was, it was awesome. Um, rainy day shopper says shop Fox barrel. That's my problem already. My local thrift is five minutes away. <laughs> You can just see her like, I'm there a lot. Uh, it's okay to say it? Okay. Somebody told me, um, I don't know if Lisette's still here, not to mention the actual names of things in your YouTube videos. Uh, girl or girl size, YouTube updated policy, so you're fine. Just don't talk about, okay. Okay, good. <sighs> I haven't seen a problem. Okay, good. Okay, I did get something so when this first happened, I put out a video with that in, with that word in there, and they did uh, demonetize it. So maybe things are moving along. Good to know. Did I miss anything else? I'm just gonna do a quick scroll. So um, Natasha was asking what you've noticed in your business due to that. Jamie W says, I'm 1.5 hours from Oklahoma City bins and 1.5 hours from Fort Worth bins. Okay, so a lot of people are willing to drive distances for the bins. Lori Owens, what is everyone's first thrifting stop after quarantine? Oh my God, I've actually been fantasizing about that because I'm thinking so many people are cleaning out their closets. There's probably going to be good stuff. I can't wait to thrift. I, I miss it. Like I just viscerally miss thrifting, but I have been getting a lot of stuff. So I have a lot of stuff coming in. Um, I've talked about this in other videos, but one of the things I did was put out a tasteful request on the next door app for donations or can I buy your stuff? And I've got a lot of stuff that way. It's not necessarily stuff that I would have ever bought up, but it's inventory coming in. What's you, your experience? Have other people managed to get any donations? And how is that working out for you? And what are you doing differently because of it? Um, because for me, it, it's, it's really changing my business, getting free stuff. It is changing my business. 
Debbie says goodwill and salvation. Um, Jamie says, I don't go very often. I can't wait to go to my local Goodwill. They always have great stuff for a small town. Um, Shop Foxborough says, my pile from my closet is huge. Just photographed a few things today. New attack from anthropology that I bought before I had my second baby. Why is it that stuff can sit in there for so long, you guys? It's like, do you have that experience where it's like, I'm going to respond to this. Do you have that experience where you're going through your pile of stuff that's unlisted? Like, what? Why? Why is this not listed? I do have a death pile that is, and Brittany at Shop Fox Bar, you're so good at this, mending stuff. Like, if I get something that's really good, like, I have a made well jumpsuit in there that is awesome. Butter yellow, size large, linen jumpsuit. Love it. I go to list it. It's missing a button. It has sat in there for over a year because I won't do the mending. So it's like, what ends up in your pile and why? That stuff makes sense to me. Like, why isn't it listed? It has an issue. I don't want to fix it. But why is some of the other stuff in there? Like, why? Like, why haven't I listed this? Like, you have new with tags and throw dresses. Why? I, okay, so um, Super Geeked is here. Yay. 37 people in the chat says 40 there. Yes. Hit the like. I'm so bad at that. Like subscribe, subscribe. Quimby, can you share on Instagram the tasteful request? I already have. Um, but if you message me on there, I will, um, send it to you. Also, I did a video on it. It's in my videos. So, um, I don't know how to get that off there. I'm going to find it. Um, Hey, Lindsay's posh loss. Posh Loft, thanks for joining us. So glad you're here. Um, I'll tell you kind of what it said and how I ordered it. That worked for me in order to get donations. I've gotten tons of donations, but I don't know if I'm going to continue. We'll see how long this thing goes on, whether I continue. But a lot of what I'm getting is not stuff that um, I can even sell. Like I'm really sifting through, washing a lot. I'm doing things differently. Like I'm getting a ton of junior stuff, so I'm lotting it up. Like here's five or eight forever 21 dresses. I don't normally sell those, but I got them for free. I'm lotting them up 20 bucks. So I'm doing different things. The key for me in asking for donations from family, friends, neighbors was the wording because I personally felt uncomfortable saying, hey guys, you're cleaning out your stuff. Can I have it so I can sell it? Because I think some people are like, yeah, sure. And some people are like, that's rude. Um, so what worked for me was to say it like this and make a little, like maybe on Canva, make a little picture of it. Um, what if I could bring it up on my phone and show you, or if that's a waste of time. But I basically said this. Hey, cleaning out your closets? Are you spring cleaning? In my area, people cannot bring it to the donation center. Um, so they don't know what to do with it. So I said, I'm a small business. I sell, my business relies on selling and on thrifting and selling pre-owned, gently used clothing, but I can't thrift right now. I'd really like to keep my small business running during quarantine. Do you have items from your spring cleaning closet clear out that you would like to donate to me or can I buy them for you? And that last bit was what was key because when I put, or can I buy them from you? I felt so much better about the ask. I have one thing in here. Why don't I show it next that I did buy from somebody and most people just said, I'll donate it to you. They want to get rid of it. So I felt uncomfortable asking, but my lived experience is that people were thanking me for taking their donations. They're cleaning out their closet. They have trash bags of stuff. You guys, they can't drop it off anywhere. So they were thanking me like, thank you so much. I want these to go to good use. Just a thought. Okay, I just saw something from Lisette. Everyone add your Instagram and Poshmark handles so we can share the love. Please do. I personally go in and I will share I will share your closet or, or go find you on Instagram or whatever. Jamie W says, I have that same feeling. Thank you. So did I. I was like, this is weird, but I've I moved around it. Super Geeked, they have a fun YouTube channel, so definitely check them out. A new a new neighbor was a reseller when she was in Denver. Gave me two giant bags of wonderful things. One of them was Lululemon. 
awesome. I do not have the experience of getting um, so far. I haven't gotten anything that's awesome. I've gotten, you know, mall brands and stuff. Oh, good. Everyone's putting their posh closets in. Definitely share the love. While you're watching, even, you could have your phone and go in, find their closet, share stuff, follow them, subscribe to their channels. Super, Super Geek says, I'm like you, but I have been so, so, so humbled. I was in tears one night and emailed all my neighbors, thank you. I mean, listen, that makes them feel good. Like, they don't want that stuff anyway. They're getting rid of it, you guys. Why not take it off their hands? So here's a here's a, an example. So this one woman on the neighbor app that I put out this tasteful request, and she said, I usually sell my stuff to consignment stores, but they're closed right now. We went back and forth messaging. And then I, she wanted to meet and have me look through this stuff. And I'm like, I don't really feel comfortable with that. I'm doing no contact porch pickup. Why don't you send me some pictures? Hey, Kim H. I'm glad you joined. Um, great. Everyone's putting their closet names in. Thank you. Let's all really help each other, especially right now. Let's be community and show up for each other. So this woman was like... Um, she showed me her stuff and it was all very small sizes and it wasn't brands that I wanted to buy. But she did have, I said, I'll take these few pair of shorts for $2 each. So I bought three pairs of shorts off her for $2 each. Um, I left $6 and a little envelope on my porch. She came and picked it up. And then she said, I have a few things I'll give you just as donation. So I haven't even looked at this stuff. I leave everything in my uh, in my garage for at least 24 hours, but more like a week just to be extra safe. Um, so I bought these three pairs of shorts for $2 each. Um, so let's take a look at what I got. I haven't even looked at this. Oh. Oh, interesting. She did not say they were this brand. Okay. Whatever. They were only two bucks. These are Lands and Canvas 1963. These are a size six, low rise. Hmm. See? Live and learn. I probably wouldn't have bought these. They're just like a classic shorts, though, but I paid two bucks. I'm sure I can get 10 or 15. Um, that's not the brand she said they were, but that's okay. So grateful. Anyway, this is the brand she did tell me, which I love. Garnet Hill. Garnet Hill, keep your eye out for. It sells really well for me. These are just a pair of chino shorts. More kind of like, these aren't like super on trend. They're more like conservative, but maybe classic. I can. I'm sure I can make my money back on those. Thank you for sharing your closets. Kim H is with us. Okay, these ones are good though. These are the North Face for two bucks. Sure. Women's size six, just a classic shorts. These are white. White is risky, but I don't see any flaws on these. They just look like gently owned, gently used. So I paid six bucks for those. And these are things she just left in there for free for me. So that was really nice. This is a new tag scarf. It's from Sears for $12.99. Maybe I can bundle it with something. It's new with tags. That was free. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. And I don't know this brand, but this is cute. Um, Screamer? I don't know. It's like a little hat. Kind of cute. It says North Star Tahoe on it. That was a free donation. Oh, this is several hats, so maybe I'll lot them up. That's what I'm doing with donations that I don't think are going to sell um, for a super high amount. I'm just lotting lower-end items up. Brandy Rivera says, I have some Garnet Hill pants and can't get them to uh, move. Interesting. I wonder what they are because that brand sells really well for me on eBay. On eBay, though, I haven't tried it a lot on um, Posh. Debbie says, please share my closet. Definitely. There's her closet name. I would really love if we share. Here we got rainy day shopper everywhere. Let's see. It's been an, almost an hour, so we'll probably finish up in a little bit. Lindsay, we've got Lindsay1208 on Posh. So I will go in in the next like, couple days. After this, I usually make dinner with my family and all that, but I will be sharing. Oh, New England Betty Boop. Lisette says, tomorrow I'm co-hosting Best in Tops party. I don't, I don't ever go into the parties, but I would like to. That's awesome. Yes. Really good stuff. Where is that about? 
out. Kim H says, hi from Delaware. How are things going now in Delaware for you guys? I was trying to find this super, okay, yeah, everyone's, okay. I'm writing closets down, like with an actual pen and paper. Okay, so she gave me these other hats for free. How much time do you guys, I have a few more things I can show or we can wrap it up soon. I know it's getting close to dinner time. This is like a little fleece hat with some animal, um, animal print on it. I'm trying to find that comment now, otherwise it just stays up. Uh, <sighs> Yay, Lisette, says uh, Lori Tata, hosting a posh party. I'm going to go on. I have to write everything down. I actually do write it down with pen and paper on an index card. And this is a Columbia hat. This one's nice, actually. Super soft fleece, and I like this um, trim. So I might, like, lot all those hats up unisex. Looks to me more like a woman's, but because it's kind of purple. Um, that was nice. She gave those things to me for free. Oh, there's a couple other things in here. I know, I am so appreciative of anything that's free. This looks like a little makeup bag um, from Old Navy, but it looks really cute, little makeup bag. I don't know, I'm selling whatever right now. You gotta, and look at this. A new tag from Daisy Fuente's boot topper. What is that? I don't know, it's super cute though. New tag item, sure, I'll sell that on eBay. Host pick, says Lisette. So um, Lisette, I'm just going to shout it out here too, if she's still doing it too, is selling reseller boxes right now. And um, so definitely check out her posh closet. Posh is my purpose to see Kelly is here. Oh, good. Hey, Kelly. So write that one down. We want to make sure to share from that. Closet, I assume most of you are also on um, Instagram. So um, I see another closet here. I want to put up, here we go. Super geeked is retro perspectives on posh. You sell mostly vintage? It's past the donkey's dinner time. <laughs> Oh, good. So Lisette must still be selling the mystery boxes. So that's good. But I'm going to share one more thing, then we'll wrap up. I have stuff from Shop Goodwill that I haven't opened. I have thread up. I want to check out the Shop Goodwill one. I have a video on shopping from, um, oh, yay. Lisette sold um, six boxes. Awesome. And they're not expensive either. They're like 25 bucks, I want to say. So that's a really good price. She's at Posh is my purpose. Okay, have you guys shopped from shopgoodwill.com? I'm going to show you a few things that I bought from Goodwill online stores. And we'll wrap it up. I'm getting hungry. It is 6 o'clock here in Cali. Okay, so I look for lots when I'm on shopgoodwill.com. So I, I got this lot of three Ann Cole women's swimsuits. I paid $11.99 for three swimsuits plus shipping. And shipping is probably like 8 or 10 bucks. Let's see what I got. I love selling swimsuits. Do you guys? Even pre-owned. They have to be in really good condition. Rainy Day Shopper says, I'm worried about doing mystery boxes, but I have so much stuff. Listen, I haven't sold mystery boxes, so I should let the ones of you who have experienced that. But what I'd say to that is many of us don't have lots of inventory, and people need inventory. They want to keep their businesses running, so you'd be doing a service. Show us the good, says Lori. I'm on it, Lori. I'm on it. Victoria at Super Geek is a style soulmate. Y'all got to check her out. Okay, I will do that. I'm on it. And also check, check out Shop Foxborough. Okay, I think I did good with these ones. Let me show you these suits. Okay, they look... Okay, so they're all tankinis. Super cute. They look like new, you guys. This is the brand Ann Cole. I'm not familiar with it, but I did look on eBay at sold comps to see if this was even something people would buy. So I paid like $20 total for three of these, and they're a suit. So there's like this tankini top with a matching bottom. <gasps> this is awesome. Maybe I should sell them all as a lot, or I don't know. So it's like with a matching bottom. These are nice. And um, these look new. I mean, they, they are not new, and I won't sell them as new because they don't have tags, but these look brand new. So, like, this is one of them. 
This is a pretty coral colored one. Like, I, I don't know what size these are because that's not doing anything for me. Medium, medium what? Medium, not tall, not curvy girls like me. Girly girl style saying super geeked, great closet. Girly girl, Tori, are you guys doing your Sunday live or are you taking a break this week? I want to be there. Coral one with a matching bottom and a blue one with a matching bottom. So 20 bucks for three of these like matching swimsuits. I think I could get 20 bucks each easy, maybe a little bit more swimsuits. People will, women will pay up for a swimsuit because you want a good swimsuit. If you have to be out there in your swimsuit, you want to be okay. Okay, let me show you one other thing I got. Then I'm closing up shop for the night. I'm getting hungry. Sorry if this is noisy. Let me just get it over with. This is something I ordered from shopgoodwill.com online. I have a video about how to use that site with lots of tips. This is how it's coming. To me, this is a lot I bought. And there's not an invoice in there, but I believe I paid $9.99 for this lot plus shipping. So probably $20 total. Shipping's expensive. Watch out for high shipping costs on Shop Goodwill. This is the brand Ann Taylor Loft, and Loft sells well for me. Tori says, we'll be there live on Sunday, and then special Tuesday Vintage Ladies Live. I'll be there for all those. Um, Thanks, Amy. I think it was a good deal. I will definitely be there. I have your live scheduled. I really love them. This is the brand Loft. It sells better than Ann Taylor for me. People like this brand, I think. Size medium. I pay $20 for one, two, three, five items so that's pretty good oh i love this this is like a silky blouse it's a baby doll style because of the way the hem goes and look at these sleeves yes give me some bell sleeves kind of like a gray print i think i can sell that for 20 or 25 on posh or ebay jamie w says i made macaroni and cheese in the instapot who knew <laughs> I'm excited about your vintage live too. I want to be doing more lives myself. Okay, this loft is a loft sweater, a nice pink cowl neck kind of sweater. 20 bucks for five of these? That's pretty good, right? Um, those sleeves are fab. I love a good bell sleeve. Um, this is this is all loft, so I don't have to keep showing you the tag. Smells really good. The condition looks really good. Um, this is another kind of, I love the sleeve on this one. It's almost like a balloon sleeve, I guess. It's a really pretty kind of periwinkle. Has a little small keyhole back cutout. That's cute. What's the fabric on that? Because that feels really nice. I don't see it real quick. Loft sells pretty well for me. It's like a rayon combo, rayon wool. That is really cute. Sleeves are hot right now. Everybody wants something a little special with the sleeve. And this is a loft size medium. I like the print. It's like a feather print, like a silky tank, a good career piece. And it almost has like almost feathers on it. That's cute. And lastly, size large, a woman's lace silky tank top. I think loft is like more modern career wear. And look at the back, all lace and a really pretty color and a size large is great. All in excellent shape. I'm happy with that. So there's a million ways to get inventory. Okay, let's say good night, Lori Tata. Um, Jamie, just got an Instapot this week. I think I saw your post about that. You guys are talking about great net Netflix shows. Lori says, those are great suits, Quimby. Signing off to watch Unorthodox on Netflix. It's so good. Have a great weekend. Okay, guys, I'm going to be signing off too. Um, I just want to shout out here is uh, Patricia's Closet. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for Live at Five, which I'll be doing every Friday. Who knows what I will have next week, but I'll definitely have something to show you. I really appreciate you watching and joining me means a lot to be able to connect with you. Let's all go in and share each other's closets and hit the thumbs up as Lisette is reminding us. Gifted Afflicta says, thanks girly girl style. I loved sharing your hand embroidered pieces. Very cool. Sounds good. Okay. 
Guys, good night. I hope to see you all soon. I have a bunch of new videos up. I'd love it if you subscribed and watched some of those, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night, guys.